So I almost died. <laughs> There's like a loose stack of records on top. So I have no idea what these are. Um, man, this this co this this cover right here, just rock 80s. He's got a lot of compilations here, but there's some bangers on here. Uh, My Sharona, Heartbreaker, Pat Benatar, Paradise Skies. We've got Rush. Man, nobody makes these compilations anymore, and like, there's no business for it. Because, like, everyone just has Spotify playlists now. So, like, selling a collection of these songs just doesn't make sense. Also, I didn't really know it was a thing till I started buying CDs in the 90s. But I remember my mom bought a compilation of music from the 50s. And they had to specify that it was the original recordings. Because apparently it was a thing where, like, you'd buy these albums that say, here's all these, like, great songs from the 50s, and they were all re-recorded by different artists, I guess so they could skirt around the rights of using the songs. And, like, that entire industry just doesn't exist anymore, because everyone just gets the original music. But yeah, this is a really cheesy cover here. Rock 80s! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Not making fun of my father or like... I love the, the title of this, the soft magic of today's music. And to that point of the what I was just talking about, on the back it actually says, all originals. And so what are some of the, the soft magic of the time? So we've got Air Supply, uh, Lost in Love, oh man. Is that the So Lost in Love, I Can't Go Without You? I don't know if that's the one. Uh, Hall and Oates, You Lost That Love and Feeling. But you know that I love you, Kenny Rogers. You can call me blue by Michael Johnson. Oh, I thought it said Michael Jackson. I don't know. Who, I don't know who Michael Johnson is. Um, do I recognize any of these other ones? Uh, Ladies' Night by Cool in the Gang. I don't really think of that as a soft magic song though. That's like a dance song. Um, I don't know who this is. Olivia? Oh wait, is this Olivia Newton-John? Oh yeah, it's got physical on here. Oh, yeah, sexiest songs of all time when we talked about that. Physical, track three. Yeah, physical there. Part attack, magic. Um, put that down here. Um, ABBA. Oh, this, this was a classic right here. Uh, Fleetwood Mac, Rumors. There are some, some bangers on there. Uh, where's the song... This was a crazy album and the story behind it and everybody was cheating on everybody. Oh yeah, I remember that steam. Still a surprising choice, but whatever. Um, oh, this one's gotten hot recently um, in light of... Is this the one that I think? Does it have the... No, it does not. Oh yeah, it does. I didn't realize it was... Really? So this is Queen. Night at the Opera, Queen, of course, super hot right now in light of the Bohemian Rhapsody movie. Um, one of the things I did not realize is that on this particular version, Bohemian Rhapsody is the second last song, but it's not followed up by We Are the Champions. Like, I always think, oh wait, am I already thinking? Oh, it's We Will Rock You and We Are the Champions. Never mind. So Bohemian Rhapsody, second last song. I don't think I've heard the rest of the songs on this. Oh, you're my best friend I've heard. Yeah, to me, Queen is very much a... I like the greatest hits, but if you ask me about album cuts, I have no idea. Ooh, 80s. Oh, man. This reminded me, a couple of... I think it was like a year or so ago. Um, we... Oh, it was around Halloween. And we needed music, we were carving pumpkins, and I was just like, you know what? Let's listen to some Madonna. It's the same, I'm the same way with Queen. All right. Um, Madonna in the 80s, her music was ridiculously good. Oh my goodness, just such amazing pop. Uh, this album, True Blue, it's got Papa Don't Preach. Um, True Blue, and I can't read it. It's in like handwriting, cursive writing. 
Like, if you give this to kids now, where they don't even learn cursive writing or learn how to write cursive, like, can they even read this? I can barely read this, to be fair, to be honest. Man, Papa Don't Preach seems like a, a pretty edgy song, considering the subject matter of uh, keeping a baby out of I, uh, conceived out of wedlock or something. Um, This one. Oh my goodness. Uh, Boston, their debut album. One, yeah, I'm struggling with all that cursive. This album is phenomenal. I, my dad used to listen to this one all the time, and I'd hear bits and pieces. I didn't realize it was all from the same album until I played it in Rock Band, though. Man, like, Rock Band has every song in here except for Let Me Take You Home Tonight, which I found out years later was because of a rights issue with that particular song. But, like, more than a feeling, peace of mind, foreplay long time, rock and roll band, smoke and hitch a ride, like, just s such an incredible album. One of the, I think it's still the best selling debut album of all time. And, oh man, look at the, the fashion right there. Man, these guys look so cool with the big fros. <laughs> it's out of the time. Couple more. Oh, these are some of the ones we bought. Okay. This is like jumping ahead. This is the only vinyl album I own, and it's been on the wall before. Wu-Tang entered the 36 Chambers. Oh, man. This album was one of the ones that really got me into hardcore hip-hop at the time. Wu-Tang was the coolest thing in the universe. I drew that W on so much stuff. I had it on my binder. I had like the five star binder with the zipper and stuff and where it had the five star logo in the square, I I drew like the Wu-Tang W and pasted it over top. Goodness, those mustaches. But yeah, I can still listen to this whole album front to back, Protect Your Neck, uh, Method Man, uh, Clan in the Front, Bring the Ruckus, Mystery of Chess Boxing, Cream, Cash Rules Everything Around Me, such a phenomenal album. I would love to see them live someday. They're still touring, still active. 